everyone, I hope everyone is having a good Sunday. I'm back here again for a new video, and in this video, I wanted to do an updated video showing off my entire Evil Dead collection. Now, I got inspired to do this video from Andrew Ballina. He recently did a video showing off his Evil Dead collection, and he was doing it as a response to, hey, isn't that Devin Graham? Um, I'll leave a link down below to his channel if you guys want to check him out. And, uh... Yeah, I just thought, you know, why not do a new video showing off my Evil Dead collection because I love the Evil Dead films, you know, I love all three of them, and, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a video uh, just showing off everything that I have. Um, now, what I'm going to do uh, for this video is I'm going to show off every single edition I own of each movie separately. Like, I'm going to show off all the editions that I own of Evil Dead, then Evil Dead 2, then Army of Darkness, and then I'll move on and I'll show off my figures, comic books, and, um, my, um, video games and stuff like that. So, yeah, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I don't have the biggest Evil Dead collection, but I am happy with what I do have, and I'm always looking to add new additions and new, uh, collectibles into the collection. So, here we go. So, first, I'm going to start off by showing all the different editions I own of the first film. First right here we have is just a... Single disc, uh, digitally remastered DVD edition from Anchor Bay. Really do like this artwork. Um, you know, I like the, uh, you can see, uh, Ash's face behind, uh, the title. You know, pretty standard release. And I also really do like, um, the disc artwork as well. It also comes with a booklet called Ladies of the Evil Dead, which just has uh, interviews with the three main girls from the film. Now this one is probably my favorite release of the Evil Dead, uh, or at least my favorite release that I own, and that is the three disc Ultimate Edition. I picked this up at Best Buy back when it was brand new and it was pretty expensive, but yeah, this is very cool. I absolutely love this edition. First, I love the, uh, you know, the front right here, you got the classic image of the girl being pulled down by the hand, you know, you got the kind of blue background and it looks all, looks all banged up and everything. Love that shot of Ash right there. And this is loaded with special features. Um, it has both the widescreen version and the full screen version, as well as audio commentaries for both of uh, um, versions of the film, as well as just a ton of special features. And like I said, very, very cool uh, three disc set. Got a lot of great artwork in here. Sorry about that glare. Yeah, that one's really awesome three disc set. Go ahead and take the discs out. There's the full frame. And then Ladies of the Evil Dead. Absolutely love that. Um, it also comes with a poster. Um, one side of it has the same artwork that is on the uh, single disc. Uh, DVD release, and then the other side has the artwork that's on the front of the uh, front of this release. But yeah, absolutely love this edition, all the way down to you know just the artwork and the features. It's an absolutely amazing edition. And then here is the only Blu-ray release I have of Evil Dead, and that is the Steelbook. Pretty cool Steelbook. I like that artwork on the back. I don't think it has anything. Yeah, it doesn't have anything on the inside. There's the disc. Yeah, pretty cool. I think I got this at Walmart for like ten dollars. Now I'm gonna move on and show off the VHS releases. First, I have this uh, slipcase release of the Evil Dead. This was actually the first release of the Evil Dead that I ever owned. Pretty cool. And then I have the Anchor Bay clamshell. Love that image right there on the spine from the last scene of the movie. And here's the back. Very, very cool. Moving on to Evil Dead 2. First we got uh, the Blu-ray. And 
and I believe this Blu-ray has all the same special features as the 25th Anniversary Edition. It might have something new, I'm not really sure. It does have a lot of special features. Very cool. And then I have this release of the DVD with the, uh, the classic skull. Very cool. Then we have the classic Book of the Dead edition. Unfortunately, the eye doesn't work anymore. Um, but yeah, these were, you know, they also released the uh, first film in a Book of the Dead edition, which I don't have. I'd like to get it eventually. And the last release I own of, uh, or on DVD of the uh, second film is the limited edition Anchor Bay 10. Which is very, very cool. Really nice. Um, I have done a video showing off the contents of the 10. Here's the back. And then here's my number. I have number 1,000, oh sorry, 11,701 out of 50,000. Yeah, great edition. And the last release I own of Evil Dead 2 is the Anchor Bay Clamshell VHS. The back. Very cool. Moving on to Army of Darkness. And Andrew Ballina, when he did his video, he stated he wasn't a fan of uh, Army of Darkness. Um, you know, it's definitely one of those love-hate movies. I know a lot of people, they don't like it because it's it's much more of a comedy than it is a, you know, horror. Like, the first movie was more straightforward horror. The second one was the, the, the perfect mix of horror and comedy. And um, Army of Darkness is more of just a more comedy than it is horror, but I personally love the film. First we have the uh, the two disc boomstick edition with this awesome artwork. Comes with both the theatrical cut and the director's cut. And then I have this standard universal DVD release, which I really do like this artwork though. The original poster artwork for the film. And then, I have the three-disc collector's edition from Scream Factory. Amazing release, and probably the best release of the movie on Blu-ray. Comes with the theatrical version, the director's cut, and the international cut, which is a release I've never seen. I'll go ahead and open it up, show you guys the three discs. Um, this is a replacement disc. When I got this in the mail, the uh, uh, original case was, um, was damaged, so I just switched it out and put it in this cheap... Um, you know, little recycle case. Um, but it was the only case that I had that had uh, three discs, for three discs, but there's disc one, the theatrical version. Disc two, the director's code, which has the same artwork that is on the Boomstick Edition, as well as a poster that I'm going to be showing off at the end of this video. And then the international cut, which is a release I have not seen. Yeah, absolutely amazing edition. And then this is pretty cool. This is the HD DVD version of Army of Darkness. Um, I never had an HD DVD player and I never collected them, but I saw this at Walmart for I think like five bucks. And so I figured why not pick it up? Um, this was back when HD DVD was sort of going out and Blu-rays were becoming the new thing. And so they were just selling, selling you know, these off for cheap. So I thought why not just add a new, another release of Army of Darkness to the collection. And that is all the releases I have of Army of Darkness. Now I'm going to show off. I have all three Blu-ray releases of, um, or all three, you know, all three seasons, excuse me, of uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead. I actually have not gotten into watching this show yet. I don't know why. I've heard nothing but great things about it, so I really should get into, you know, get into watching these, but, yeah. Happy to have all three of them. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and show off the two video games that I have. They're both for PlayStation 2. First one is a Fistful of Boomstick. I have played a majority of this one um, back when, you know, my PlayStation 2, you know, I still had it. 
And um, it was pretty good, um, you know, pretty entertaining story. There was also uh, some pretty good one-liners in it. There was one scene where somebody walks up to Ash after he kills, uh, kills one of the zombies and he goes, Do you think that was a little bit overkill? And Ash goes, No, I think that was just an upkill. So I love just great one-liners. And then Regeneration, which I also, I didn't get too far into this one, but I do remember um, it being pretty, pretty good from how far I played. Now I'm going to show off the comic books. I'm not going to show them off in all, um, show them off in a lot of detail, but, uh, this is three and four of the Dark Horse comics of the first film. I would like to get one and two, just so I could have the entire, um, first film in comic book form, but the artwork in these are absolutely amazing. Just very, very cool. I got these at a local comic book store that unfortunately um, closed. It was at a local mall. This is volume four. And again, more great artwork. And one thing that's also kind of cool is that this comic, which I won't show, but it does have a bit of an alternate ending um, to, the, uh, to it. Um, the comic book um, actually has, uh, it ends right where um, the movie ends, but then there's also an extra section that has a, uh, you know, it's an alternate ending that's different from the movie. I don't want to get into detail about it, but pretty cool. And then I have a few of these Army of Darkness. I'm, I, I'm assuming there was a series of comics released um, under the name Army of Darkness, and these are just the three ones that I have. Again, I got these from, I got these from a local antique mall um, that used to have comics they don't anymore but there's from from the ashes is that one very very cool and home sweet home and the last comic book that I have is Freddy versus Jason versus Ash this is number six um, pretty cool you know it's just all comic of Freddy Jason and Ash just fighting each other and and stuff again amazing artwork so those are all the comics. I would like to eventually get um, the first two comics and complete the uh, the first movie. And the last two things I'm going to show are the two figures I have. This first one is Army of Darkness. This is the McFarlane Toys figure. Very, very cool. I love the detail on this figure. It also comes with a mini Ash and then some little, uh, little fork right there. Try to show him off in better detail. I've done. I have done a video showing him off in in better detail. He also comes with uh, the Book of the Dead, the Boomstick right there, and uh, his metal hands and a replica poster behind him. Very cool. And the last figure that I have is this awesome 18-inch Ash figure. Unfortunately, he is missing his chainsaw. I lost it. Um, back when I was young, because this was actually one of the oldest figures I have in my collection, and, um, yeah, just the detail on him, absolutely amazing, like in the face, and, you know, got the blood and the cuts all over him, and everything, and still has his metal hand, of course, all the way down, just, and then he also comes with a, with his boomstick, as well. Um, so like I said, you know, he's, he's complete, except he's missing his chainsaw. I forget what happened to it, but he was, you know, the chainsaw was just covered in blood, and it just looked awesome. And he does have a button on the back um, that if you press him, then he uh, says different lines from Army of Darkness. Um, unfortunately, I uh, I think uh, he needs a... He either needs... Yeah, he just needs new batteries, and I just haven't put batteries in him, so I don't think he works. No, nah, not anymore. So other than missing the chainsaw... He's still an amazing figure. And that is it, guys. That is my entire Evil Dead collection as of now. Um, like I said, I did, I'm did. i doing this video because I saw Andrew Ballina show off his Evil Dead collection. And I'll leave a link down below to uh, his video if you want to check it out. And I'll also leave a link down below to the person that he was responding to. Hey, isn't that Demogram? I'll leave a link down below to his video as well. 
Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or join my movie collecting Facebook group, links will be down below underneath uh, Andrew Ballina and Hey Isn't That Devin Graham's uh, videos. So check those out if you want. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.